good news, used car prices may have finally topped out. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? You have arrived at the home of super high intensity training for car buyers. Today, I'm joined by the amazing Elizabeth as we discuss what appears to be the beginning of declining prices in the used car market. Unbelievable news, isn't it? It's awesome. As our followers know, the Homework Guide channel prepares car buyers with homework and research to do before the sale. If you're new here, you should know that there are tons of videos on our channel covering car buying strategies and everything you need to know, from paying for a car with cash to how to avoid contract fraud at a car dealership. If you're not already one of the hundreds of thousands of subscribers, you're going to want to join us and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. The Homework Guide is the best show and the best advice you can find online. Elizabeth just goes right after it, doesn't she? Well, let's jump right in. As the world returns to normal following the pandemic, it looks like the massive price increases have finally topped out. As you know, we were recommending all of you to sit out of the market for as long as you could. And even now, we're not endorsing the market as having suddenly shifted in favor of car buyers. It hasn't, not yet. But the light's at the end of the tunnel. Yep. I'm simply saying that the surge in prices has finally seen a small reversal and more to come. We've been telling you for a while now that it's not a great time to buy a car. Price increases were so dramatic for a long time that buyers were priced out of the market. Exactly. Now we're seeing a shift and it's happening where it's most reliable in terms of predicting where the market is headed. I'm talking about wholesale prices of cars, the auto auctions. According to Bloomberg, the place where dealers buy and sell cars in bulk has topped out. With the wholesale markets being the leading indicator for prices, this points to a pullback in used car prices. The gravy train of huge price increases for car dealers may have finally turned the corner. Liz has it exactly right. Wholesale prices have always been the best and most reliable indicator of where retail prices will be in the near future. So if you weren't aware, used car prices have been a historically accurate driving force behind inflation in the broader markets, as in all markets, which is at the highest levels in a decade. After bloating to outrageously high prices headed into the first of the year, prices were up 10% in April and another 7.3% in May. Car borrowers who follow the Homework Guide channel have actually helped. Many of you have sat out and decided to wait because we advised you to make the greedy dealers suffer and to stop buying their cars. Tons of emails and comments have flooded in with thankful viewers who said they'd do exactly that. Just wait. Your willingness to be patient has likely played a role in bringing a slowdown to the price increases. Yes, it has. By sitting on the sidelines, you helped put the peak of this in the rearview mirror. And finally, yes, finally, prices have actually dropped. Nice job. We've talked about Cox Automotive here on the Homer Guy channel before. They are the parent company of Mannheim one of the largest auto auctions in the U.S. Zoe Rahim, industry analyst at Cox Automotive said, wholesale prices as of right now are at their peak and should start to come down. We are seeing a decelerating pace of price increases in the first two weeks of June compared to what has been just an absolute surge. Well, don't expect this to mean an immediate drop in prices, so hold tight onto that cash for the moment. Rahim goes on to say that due to the lag behind the wholesale market, he predicts a few more weeks of retail prices increasing before they start to follow suit. Funny, huh? Right. Wholesale prices are already going down, yet it will take a few more weeks of retail price increases before dealers start cutting out some of the fat. Well, greed is a very big driving force these days, isn't it? Yep. Mannheim's used vehicle index was up 50% in the month of April over last year. In the month of June, prices went up just 36% from the year prior. A little and, smaller increase. Right, and that's the 14% drop we mentioned. Meanwhile, another surprising statistic has emerged. The average age of vehicles on U.S. roads is up to, wait for it, a whopping 12.1 years. That's pretty incredible, isn't it? Well, that's an important figure because with fewer new cars coming to market, for any sustained period of time, the average age of used cars always increases. Fed Chair Jerome Powell talked about the auto market's impact on inflation, saying a pretty substantial part or perhaps all of the overshoot in inflation comes from categories that are directly affected by the reopening of the economy, such as cars and trucks. Well, that's not all of it, but huge influencers. Those are the things that we would look to stop going up and ultimately to start to decline, he said. He also said that the inflationary effects of cars had a bigger effect than expected on the overall market prices of other goods. Did you just hear what I said there? Yeah. Greedy dealers have helped make you and I have to pay more for everything. 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 
Who would have thought that we'd be paying 60, 70, 80, and yes, even $90 for a sheet of plywood or eight, nine bucks for a wall stud that was just $2 or two and a half bucks a short time ago? How stupid is that? Now, I haven't paid those prices for wood products. I've just been watching them because I like to do woodworking projects as a hobby, but I haven't spent a dime on lumber since this nonsense started. Well, unfortunately, the Fed chair warns of the effects of big fat prices that car dealers could turn out to be very persistent influences of total market inflation, which unfortunately means that we could still be seeing inflation across all markets later in the year, even after car prices have started to fix themselves. That's not good for budget conscious families out there. Not at all. Well, we mentioned that the decrease in retail prices of used cars will likely lag a few weeks before buyers start to see price decreases at the dealership lots. So don't jump off your couch and <laughs> think you should just go out and buy a car tomorrow. Dealers won't be too overly anxious to give up on the gravy train that Liz was talking about. Well, they've been benefiting from it for a while now and they're not gonna wanna let go of it anytime soon. As for new car prices, there's no indication the chip shortage will let up just yet I predict that to carry over into early 2022. Automakers continue to struggle filling dealer orders with new inventory as car buyers are still anxious to put a new car in the driveway. I can't imagine why some of you are paying $15,000 over MSRP to get that shiny hunk of rapidly depreciating metal in your driveway. Remember all those pre-orders on the PT Cruiser back in 2001? Liz, oh, remember yeah. that? Well, tons of people foolishly paid way over MSRP for those cars and end up losing a ton of dough on them. Well, that's what's going to happen to every one of you car buyers who has agreed to pay those big fat retail prices over the last few months. Sorry to say, there's a day ahead when you're gonna wonder, hey, where'd that 8,000, 10,000, 15,000 dollars in extra car value go? Well, it goes poof, poof, <laughs> yes, exactly. It always happens that way when you spend more than you should. Now the question is, what do dealers think will happen with the car market headed into the rest of the year? Good question. Well, just take a look at some of the hiring plans to figure out the answer to that. Dealers like CarMax are planning for demand to pick up as prices start to slide, and they have rolled out plans to hire 5,000 new people this year. That's 5,000. That's a lot. A lot of people. Well, final question. Are you one of the people who has been sitting on savings, money you accumulated over this past year? Do you have a wad of cash sitting in a savings account? Are you thinking about leveraging that money for a car purchase later this year? Well, that's what Cox Automotive thinks you're going to do with your money. Spend it on a new, or at least new to you, used car. Kevin is asking this question because, as always, we want to remind you to be smart with your cash. Right. Just because you saved it up doesn't mean you should rush out and immediately spend it. That's never a good idea. Anyone who accumulates wealth will tell you that they put a lot of thought into what they spend their money on. And rapidly depreciating cars are quite low on the list of priorities to anyone who knows anything about money. Don't forget that. In summary, it's still not a good time to buy a car, not right now at least, but improving markets for car buyers are just weeks away now instead of a seemingly never-ending cycle of inflating car prices. So mm -hmm. be diligent, do your homework, make sure you binge watch videos here on this <laughs> channel before you car shop yeah, so you're serious. sharp on all the important stuff, and then... We wish you a ton of luck if you decide to venture out and buy a car. If you appreciated this video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy and look for us on any of your favorite social media platforms out there. There's a list of options here on the screen and they're also in the description box below. And if you're new here, as Kevin mentioned, make sure you check out all the other videos we have. We've reached over 45 million people now. And as you might guess, you might as well benefit from our great content too. If you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in that description box down below or on our website. But no problem if you can't do a tip. The best way to help us is to share this video with your family and friends so they can get just as lucky as you. Encourage everyone to subscribe. Ring that notification bell too so you don't miss a thing. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer. And that's what we do. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy with the amazing Elizabeth. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.